Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel Breathe Your Words. So I wanted to get on here today because I know like a week or two ago, probably about two weeks ago, I made the statement that I said I would share with you guys the steps to forgiving successfully. Meaning how you can really forgive someone and how you know for a fact that you've gone through the right process to forgive. Because there is a right way. Um, the wrong way would be still holding on to it and not letting it go. Um, you know, there's many times in my life where I thought I had forgiven somebody, but then as soon as I see them, I'm angry all over again. And it's like, I don't even want to talk to them. And it's like, no, because if I've forgiven them, then my actions are going to be different towards them. Doesn't necessarily mean we have to be close. No. So what I want to share with y'all today is what forgiveness is not and what forgiveness is. Okay. So just give me a moment. Okay. And I'm going to go over what forgiveness is is okay one moment i'm gonna go over what forgiveness is not first yeah so forgiveness is not forgetting when you forgive somebody that does not mean that you have thrown everything out the window that does not mean everything disappeared out of your memory what they did to you forgiving you're forgiving them because that's a choice you want to make for yourself for your life in order to move forward you have to do that so you can move forward from the situation it doesn't mean that you forget all the hurt, okay? Forgetting is not reconciling. This is one thing that I had to realize that forgiveness was not. It's not reconciling. I thought that when somebody forgives you, that means that, hey, y'all should be friends again. Y'all should be great again. You know, let's be cool again. No. I learned throughout the years growing up that you can forgive somebody and have nothing to do with them after the fact. You can forgive somebody and choose to have a distant relationship with that person on purpose because you just don't want to go down that same road again it doesn't mean they're going to do it again it just means that you just don't you know you don't even want to chant your heart being broke like that again so you're like look i still love you meaning if i saw you in danger i'm gonna help you but <laughs> as far as us being close i don't want that no more real simple because it, it just it was too painful simple i still love you but mm, distance is healthy for us okay simple that is you know but you forgave them reconciliation comes when that person shows that they have that feeling and we'll get there the feeling of regret the feeling of resentment you know everything everything that should come along with you actually feeling bad about what you've done maybe when you see that from that person then you'll have the want to actually reconcile with them and actually be close to them again but it takes both of y'all to do that obviously but forgiveness just takes one person you know so either the other party or you could do it first it don't matter they ain't even gotta know you did it just you did it you forgave them simple in your heart you know um forgiveness is not condoning i want to read this one for you guys it's out of the book that i'm studying it's here <laughs> This is um, from a class that me and my husband are doing called Re-Engage. So, yes, see, okay. So anyway, I wanted to read this one. It says, forgiveness is not condoning. This is the most common misunderstanding of forgiveness. When you forgive somebody, it, does not, it doesn't mean what they did was, not, was right. It simply means that they no longer owe you anything for the pain and hurt they caused you. And that's hard for a lot of people to understand because they think like, okay, but if I forgive them, that's like saying what they did is okay. That's not true. There are many people that I've forgiven in my life that have really hurt me intensely, but I forgave them. It doesn't mean that you're saying what they did was right. It just means like the statement says that you're choosing to say no. One second, you guys. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to deal with my tiny folks, um, my little four and five year old. Anyway, so yeah, where were we? Forgiveness is not condoning. So that means, like I said before, that you make the choice to forgive them knowing that you don't even care if they say sorry or not. So that's some amazing forgiveness right there. You know, but I've done that a lot in my life as well. I've had many situations where I've just had to forgive the person and just move on and let it go. Because it's like, it doesn't mean that what they did to me, like I said, was right. No, I don't condone what they did. I choose to forgive them so they don't even have to come to me later and say sorry if they never do. That way I'm not stuck wondering, 
When are they going to say sorry? I'll forgive them when they say sorry. I'll forgive them when they act right. Bump that. They don't have to act right. They don't have to say sorry. You forgive them and move on because you because you you're saying out loud you don't owe me nothing. I want nothing from you. Do what you do. I forgive you. That's it. You know, forgiveness is not a feeling. Now this is one that people have a problem with. Okay. Forgiveness is not a feeling, okay? That means that you don't wait till you feel like forgiving to forgive somebody. You understand what I'm saying? If somebody hurts you so deep to where they broke your heart, they broke your spirit, they literally almost killed you. That's how bad they hurt you to where you were depressed and you were already in your life. That's how bad it hurt, right? So forgive them anyway. <laughs> Why? Because it's a command, you guys. He said you don't you don't have to feel it to do it you just do it because it's like the king example the best example here okay the king in the bible okay the parable that jesus christ gave when he was talking about the king and the servant that owed the king the debt the servant was forgiven of all the debt that he owed the king then the servant went out and attacked his friend underneath him that owed him some debt he attacked him. You know what the king did when he found out about that? He threw him in the jail forever until he could pay his debt back. Why was he never able to pay that debt back? Because what he owed the king is like on somebody the world, literally. So he couldn't pay it back. You know what I'm saying? There was nothing he could do. So anyway, it's just like that, you guys. You don't have to feel it. The king didn't feel like forgiving him of his debt. I'm pretty sure he was sitting there like, I mean, this is like $8 million you owe me and you don't want to pay me back. But you sitting here crying and all that. So whatever, I'm going to just forgive your debt. Get out of my face. Bye. I forgive your debt. See you later. You know, <laughs> imagine. But then to find out that I forgave you your debt and you turn around and you, oh, so you think you better than the king. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is what God is saying, you guys. We got to think about that. Like, this is what God is really telling us. He's like, you're not better than me. I created you. I'm your creator. So I, if I forgave you, through my son, Jesus Christ, on the cross, then what makes you think you have the audacity to wait till you feel like it to forgive somebody? You don't. You don't get to do that. You don't get to make that choice. You forgive whether you feel like it or not. That's the truth, okay? So don't wait till you feel like it because think about it. If you wait till you feel like it to forgive, then that hurt can turn into bitterness. That hurt can turn into anger. That hurt can turn into deeper depression. These are things that can happen when we hold in unforgiveness towards people. It can turn into things that can literally kill us. And these are internal things that are killing us. This is not even nothing going on on the outside. This is the internal things that are killing us. Stress, depression, uh, anger, you know, causing all types of sickness in our body that we can release if we just forgive. You know, and forgive from within our heart, you know. Meaning that you don't have to feel like it, but you need to go deep with inside here and pull out those that you have to forgive. And literally, if even if you have to write a letter, even if you have to just sit down and say their names out loud and what they did and forgive them for that, do that. But anyway, you guys, okay, time is running out. <laughs> I, was glad, I was glad today to share with you what forgiveness is not. I have one more to share with you last one okay it's the last one and then this is the end it says forgiveness is not just about the person who you hurt Ooh, oh did y'all catch that forgiveness is not just about the person who you hurt or the person who hurt you wow right okay because you gotta think about that you know i added my own thing but the real sentence is forgiveness is not just about who hurt you it's all about it's also about yourself your own your spirit towards them as well because you might need forgiveness towards that person as well so when you think about it like forgiveness is not just about who hurt me it's also about what i could have done towards that person that caused them pain you know what wow anyway let's look at the i'm gonna read the um the excerpt that goes with it okay it says, forgiveness is not just about the person who you who hurt you. Forgiveness is more about you than it is about them. The person who hurt you most likely cannot do anything to make up for the pain they have caused you. And they may never ask for forgiveness 
or even see their need to be forgiven. Oh, y'all, I'm dealing with that right now. Like, it's so many people in my life that feel like I ain't done nothing to that person. They crazy. Like, they look at me like she crazy. I ain't did nothing to her. I don't owe her nothing. I'm not never telling her sorry. <laughs> you know, I know them. <laughs> and I say, like, never have the words, can you please forgive me, came out of this, these mouths. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, Lord. So just, I forgive them now, you know. And last year and earlier in the year, I had to go through a list and just write names down and forgive them. And I did it every day, it, you know, every day because it was certain things that would pop up. I would just do it every day continuously over and over again. So these are things it doesn't come natural. No, forgiveness doesn't feel good to do naturally. It's very hard to forgive somebody who feel like they don't even have to ask for your forgiveness, you know, but it's something we do for our spirits to heal, for our spirits to get better, for God to transform us into better people. And I feel like and I know, I feel like I know for a fact that every time you choose to forgive, that is God putting a piece of you back together, a piece of you back together. That's what it's like, you know, each person that you choose to forgive, it's like a puzzle that God is molding back together. And then he's going to burn the ends together so that you can stay strong together. You know what I'm saying? And melt together and get back to your original self, the original you that God created you to be. You know, so anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope that if you have anyone out there that you need to forgive, that you forgive them and you forgive them 100%. You know, it's for your own health. It's for your own good. It's for your own spiritual well-being. Have a blessed day and thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for more videos from Breathe Your Words. Bye.